I think it's so interesting when I look down a third way of the comments on this last video I did and read down them and then get inspired to do another video a third way down. Actually, this comment, a fixer upper. Are we conscious? Can we be real conscious with all the cravings and lust and loves we have? Can we think about anything without being attached or repulsed by it? Yes. Key is unbound thinking. And if you can achieve this, you will be completely conscious. You can't achieve it. Not only should you be neutral at thinking, but also cut out pride and self-belief, because ego can bring a person's conscious down more than attachments do. Does. Cut out pride. I'm just a guy. So if guys are electrons and women are protons, I don't think that makes sense, because... What's the new? What's the neutron? Like children, the brain child of proton electron. Neutrons are there sometimes. They don't have any charge. They're just weight. And then what is the nucleus? And the, the whole nucleus is so much heavier than the electron. That doesn't make any sense. Although they're magnetically drawn to each other, the weight, the atomic weight, is different. The weight. The mass. They weigh it. Its atomic weight is mass. So it's just a lot larger. The nucleus and the proton within the nucleus and then the electron is very, very, very light. It's not much weight. And men and women aren't that different. That men are very light and women have a lot of weight. Like gravity pull. I feel that both men and women have... Well, I was going to think about it, though. Like if an alien came down and, and appeared and wanted to pick the... Ten most beautiful people on the planet. I think it would be nine women and one man. About that, maybe. Maybe like eight and two. So maybe women actually do have a lot more weight. And people are drawn to women more. Men and women. Or shut them out completely. I mean, it's not that extreme. Maybe it's equal weight. Homosexuality heterosexuality I just guys in general are guys in general as as alluring as women I don't think so I think guys are more direct and light and women are more dense and complicated because they're concerned with preserving the human race their whole body is built to do that. Fucking, they have boobs. Not fucking. They have they have breasts, and their whole inside, of course, the vagina, and the whole inside is a reproductive machine. The guy's got like a few things hanging outside the body. Other than that, it's just the same body that the woman has, minus all those reproductive organs. I believe. So the woman's complicated because of all that, because it's very important to the woman how do you best evolve. Well, hopefully it's the human race, but I have a feeling that women get so fucking selfish and self-conscious that they care about how do I preserve my life? How do I make my life better? How do I preserve for life for my family? And I know that you women that your body is built to do that but I think I guess guys are more like how do you make things better for the, the group go beyond the woman itself and think about the group yes to this woman and then move on to the next woman and make it better for all not by giving them kids but just by communicating it by t spending your life giving information thought 
listening, giving your life to listen. Part of it, part of it is figuring out a way to communicate with women the men for me personally part of my journey is to figure out a way to communicate with women there's a lot of tension involved with not all females by any means some females maybe females that draw a lot of attention the word attention has the word tension in it I think it's spelled a little different but still geez attention yeah, it does cause tension. But if you know how to release that tension, you can do really positive and constructive things with it. These theories are like half. I sit here by myself and talk about theory and accomplish half of it. And it must frustrate you so much sometimes if you're not like totally, like for whatever reason, really thinking that, oh yeah, this is it. It must be so frustrating because it's just one train of thought. I can't, it's impossible for one human to have the duality within them. That is, I think so. I believe that it, we must, I mean, we can do anything. I believe we must surround ourselves with other people. So I was going to say, but maybe we don't have to. Maybe we can just be, just be, be alone. But I mean, even alone, like nature and trees and animals, it's, it's, we don't need other humans. Something about the intelligence level of other humans is, is drawing because it, it, it inspires and creates and provokes my own intelligence to grow. There's a word for it. It stimulates to be around intelligent humans. Other animals are, are a good way to learn also about our animal, to what animal we are, but the intelligent human that can bend what the animal is and, and look underneath it as the animals aren't really equipped to do or haven't gotten to that point yet as far as we can tell as humans. Maybe some animals have, maybe dolphins have. Perhaps monkeys, some of them, understand a great deal more than we realize. I bought this. I have two. This one's seven uh, inches and seven and a quarter inches, I think. This one's ten and three fourths inches, which is better because I want to spin it. I do spin it. When I have this in my hand, I just feel my awareness increases, I become more comfortable. Also, I got couches. I don't know if you can see that from here. Let me check. Oh, I got a couch and a futon yesterday. I rented a truck. Uh, money's been good. We can make money. You can make money. You can make it. And I'm not by selling my pink cup, by actually doing work like serving people food, doubles, working day and night. Work, work, make, create. This is an LED light. The other one was an incandescent bulb. This one's supposedly much brighter. Actually, it is much brighter. I shined in my eyes and it was really bright. And it's got a bunch of sensors on it. 16 of them.
All right, I have some other things. Uh, I'll talk to you though.